people, this is Dave with Lost Farms Homestead. Um, uh, this is going to be kind of like a Wednesday short, but on Thursday. <laughs> so I kind of, what I did was I, I figured Wednesday shorts in the middle of the week, I could just drop some short videos here and there, pepper them in between all the regular episodes. And so that was the idea of Wednesday short. And it's Thursday today, so we're going to call it a Wednesday short on Thursday. <laughs> so. Anyways, um, I was thinking about the last video that I did, and uh, in the end of that video, I was kind of talking about um, things that were happening in 2024, and it was a little bit dark, and I don't mean that as a pun because the, the bad lighting, I, I had the, I had my back towards the windows thinking, yeah, I'm going to have this nice background with the windows and all, but what it did was it cast a really big shadow on my face, and it made the whole thing really dark. It was kind of... Yeah, kind of funny, so kind of a bit of a joke there. Didn't mean it to be so dark. <laughs> so, but yeah, I got to work on lighting. Anyways, so what I'm thinking is, is that um, I don't think that we should, uh, I don't think that we should come into 2024 with uh, a sense of uh, like fear and doubt. I think rather we should go go into the year with a sense of, uh, uh, hope and faith, you know, and, uh, I was kind of thinking about it a little bit and looking at scripture and, and, uh, I was reading in, um, uh, Luke this morning and I was reading about, uh, Mary and, uh, Zachariah and Elizabeth and, uh, you know, the, God sent them an angel and the angel told them, you know, that you're going to have a child and, you know, all the things that they said. And, uh, you know, Mary, she, she approached it with a spirit of, uh, uh, hope and faith and she accepted everything, didn't question it, didn't do anything. You know, I mean, she was, I am your servant, you know, your will be done or however, you know, let your words to me be true or however she said it and uh just approached it with you know faith and put all of her faith in the father and believed everything that was said to her whereas uh zachariah when he was told that you know he was old and and his wife was barren and he came out you know off you know with fear and doubt you know i mean he uh, uh he let fear and doubt cause him to act and he questioned the angel, and because he questioned the angel, the angel made him mute for the nine months until uh, John was born, you know, and that was John the Baptist, you know. And uh, once he was named, then, you know, the angel released his tongue and he was able to speak again. But, um, I mean, just, you know, you can see in Scripture how, you know, you want to approach it with faith and with hope not with fear and doubt, because fear and doubt brings about destruction, you know? Um, like, uh, also, another, just another example, like Numbers, uh, when you read in Numbers about Moses, when he sent the, the men into the Promised Land to, uh, to scout it out, you know, and he sent 12, one from each tribe, the leaders, and he sent them out, and the 10 of them came back with a bad report, and then it was, uh, Joshua and Caleb had a good report and they were ready to go in because they had faith and they believed that the father would clear their enemies before them and they were ready to go and all the other ones were, you know, because of fear and doubt, were hesitant and they refused to enter the land and because of that they were forced to wander for 40 years in the wilderness until that generation, you know, uh, died off so that then they would go in and, you know, it was Joshua and Caleb who led them when they did go in, you know, like that. I mean, you can see, you can see in scripture over and over. Um, uh, first Samuel, um, think about, uh, uh, Saul and David, their relationship, you know, uh, Saul was, uh, afraid of Goliath. He had fear and doubt about Goliath, whereas David, had faith in, in the father and that the father would deliver him. And he went out there and slew Goliath and that started their entire relationship. And throughout their relationship, 
uh, Saul had a spirit of fear and doubt because he was jealous of David and he was afraid that he was going to take his power. Whereas David just had faith in the Father all the way through. And you can see how the whole way through their entire relationship, the fear and doubt is what caused his downfall. And then, of course, you know, David, because of his faith, was elevated. So, I mean, just, I mean, it's, it's, it's all in the scriptures, you know. Um, anyways, not trying to go off on, you know, all of that. I just, I think we approach this year with, with uh, hope and faith rather than fear and doubt. And uh, I believe that, you know, if we approach it with, with hope and faith, that the Father will clear our way in front of us and that we'll be blessed by it. Um, and, uh, you know, fathers will be done, right? So that's all I got today. I just had that on my mind and I was moved to make a video. So <laughs> here it is. Hope it, hope it helps you in some way. Hope it can, uh, benefit you in some way. Um, like, and subscribe. See you this weekend. Thanks. Thanks.